Mastering Physical Security Stolen devices imperil organizational security, silently waiting to unleash devastating breaches. What measures are in place to ensure that security protocols are executed in the event of lost or stolen devices, and are these protocols regularly reviewed and updated to maintain operational excellence in physical security? To ensure operational excellence in physical security, a comprehensive management system is in place to address the loss or theft of devices. This system encompasses a robust set of protocols, procedures, and guidelines that guarantee the swift and effective response to such events, minimizing potential security breaches and maintaining the integrity of physical security operations. Device Registration and Inventory Management A centralized asset management system is utilized to register and track all devices used by personnel within the organization. This system maintains an up-to-date inventory of devices, including type, serial number, and location. Each device is assigned a unique identifier, allowing for easy tracking and identification in the event of loss or theft. Incident Reporting and Response Upon notification of a lost or stolen device, the incident is immediately reported to the Security Operations Center SOC, through a dedicated incident response hotline. The SOC is staffed 24-7 by trained security professionals who initiate the incident response process. A standardized incident report is completed, capturing essential details, including the device type, location, and time of loss or theft. Initial Response Protocol Within 30 minutes of incident reporting, the SOC initiates the initial response protocol, which includes 1. Device lockdown, remote lockdown and encryption of the device, if possible, to prevent unauthorized access to sensitive information. 2. Notification to key stakeholders Notification of the incident to relevant personnel, including IT, management, and law enforcement, as necessary. 3. Initial risk assessment. A preliminary risk assessment is conducted to determine the potential impact of the lost or stolen device on physical security operations. Comprehensive investigation and risk assessment. A comprehensive investigation is initiated to determine the circumstances surrounding the loss or theft of the device. This investigation includes 1. Interviews with personnel, interviews with the device's assigned user and witnesses to gather information about the incident. 2. Review of security footage, review of security camera footage to identify potential suspects or evidence related to the incident. 3. Digital forensics analysis, a digital forensics analysis is conducted to recover data from the device, if possible, and identify potential security breaches. The findings of the investigation are used to conduct a comprehensive risk assessment, which evaluates the potential impact of the incident on physical security operations, including the compromise of sensitive information, unauthorized access to restricted areas, or potential threats to personnel. Protocol Review and Update the Incident Response Protocol is reviewed and updated regularly to ensure that it remains effective and relevant. This review process involves 1. Incident Debriefing, a thorough debriefing of the incident response, identifying areas for improvement and lessons learned. 2. Policy and Procedure Updates, updates to policies and procedures to address identified weaknesses or vulnerabilities. 3. Training and Awareness, Refresher Training and Awareness Programs for Personnel on the Importance of Device Security and the Incident Response Protocol. Regular Security Audits and Testing Regular Security Audits and Testing are conducted to evaluate the effectiveness of the Incident Response Protocol and identify areas for improvement. These audits and tests include 1. Vulnerability Assessments, Regular Vulnerability Assessments to identify potential weaknesses in device security. 2. Penetration Testing Penetration testing to simulate the loss or theft of a device and evaluate the response of the Incident Response Protocol. 3. Security Awareness Training Security Awareness Training for personnel to educate them on the importance of device security and the Incident Response Protocol. By implementing these measures, the organization ensures that security protocols are executed in the event of lost or stolen devices, and that these protocols are regularly reviewed and updated to maintain operational excellence in physical security.